Welcome to Procedure Flow's Art of the Flow series. This short video explains how and why to format your text in Procedure Flow. In Procedure Flow, you can format the text within the shapes, including making the text bold or italic, and by changing the size of the font. One of the mapping conventions we recommend involves the use of bolded text, which helps the user understand an action to be performed on a user interface. Eyes are naturally drawn to bolded text, and users are guided to the right button, field, drop-down menu, or tab immediately. For example, here we would like the user to click the New Entry Point button. In traditional documentation, this could be written in any number of ways. Click on the New Entry Point button. Above the name, click the New Entry Point text. Or follow the blue New Entry Point button located just below the administration slash entry points title. That's too long for our user to interpret quickly. In procedure flow, we would write this as click new entry point with the new entry point text bolded. To bold text, you have three options. Option one is to highlight the text you want to make bold and click the B button. You will notice that two asterisks have been added on each side of the text you selected. Procedure Flow uses markdown language for text formatting, and these asterisks indicate to make the text bold, as we can see in the preview. The second option is to add the markdown language for bolding text manually by typing two asterisks on each side of the text you want to bold. The third option is to use your keyboard shortcut for bolding text, Control B. We also recommend the use of italicized text to indicate a script. This could be a script that the user says verbatim or a suggested language to use. To italicize text, you also have three options. The first option is to highlight the text you want to italicize and click the I button. You will notice that an asterisk has been added on each side of the text you selected. Again, this is Procedure Flow's markdown language for italicizing text, which indicates to make the selected text italic, as we can see in the preview. The second option is to add the markdown indicators manually by typing one asterisk on each side of the text you want to italicize. The third option is to use your keyboard shortcut for italicizing text. Control I. You can also bold and italicize your text to really make a script or a word within a script stand out. To bold and italicize your text, add three asterisks on each side of the text you want to bold and italicize. To further make your text stand out, you can enlarge it by using the pound symbol. Start by adding one pound symbol before the line of text you would like to enlarge. Add a second or a third pound symbol to make your text just a little smaller, but still enlarge from its original state. Your flows are now that much easier for users to follow, thanks to strategic font formatting. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos in our Art of the Flow series.